Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new GTA 5 online tutorial. Today in this video, I'll be showing you one of the best methods for replaying the Cayo Perico heist solo. By following the steps shown in this video, you can replay the heist over and over again without doing any preparations, gaining every time the maximum payout you can get till now in GTA 5 online. First of all, you'll need to set the settings in your graphics tab. Make sure that this is set to off. So the game will not pause when it will go to windowed mode. This is only for PC users because on console you don't have it. Now we can start the heist, so let's go. In description you will find the links of the tutorials that I've done that will help you to understand how this glitch works. Since the update of July and August 2022, the waiting time has increased for replaying the Cayo Perico heist to foreign game days that is more than 3 hours. By using this method that I am showing in this video, you can skip the waiting time and gain the maximum payout without taking the gold, as Rockstar also patched the vault glitch. Here I will be showing the long fin method, which is suitable for playing solo or with friends without any complication. Kozaka method is good for playing solo or with friends since you'll start the heist near the entrance of the drainage tunnel and you'll have the scuba suit that is very useful for swimming underwater. When playing with other players, be sure that you have some good secondary objectives such as gold or paintings inside the compound that pays good so you don't need to go to take the stash outside the compound. This is the best way to till now to gain money in less time possible in GTA Online so you can buy all the things you want and can also enjoy the game. Here goes the chart that shows the payout you can get by filling the loot bag to 100% of each secondary objective. The amount may vary a little. Remember that if you are doing this heist for the first time with Madrazo files as the primary target, this method will not work. To make this replay method work, you need to finish the heist once. In this way, you can also have the heist in hard mode that pays more and also gives you the chance to change the primary target. I prefer to come here for the secondary loot as it is an easy spot to reach and since there are not many guards around, it is more fail proof. You can find it even if you did not scoped it. Now I'm going to El Rubio's compound and I will be using the drainage tunnel as entrance as it is one of the fast and less complicated way to get in. Remember to activate your rib brother underwater. If your entrance vehicle is Kosaka, you do not need to do it because you will have the scuba dress. Once you enter the El Rubio's compound, you can follow this way for going to the office. It is one of the best way if you're playing solo and don't need the door key cards. This way is also useful for finishing the heist under 10 minutes and get the elite that pays $100,000 more. In the wall safe in El Rubio's office, you can get an amount between $50,000 to $100,000, and it doesn't fill your loot bag.
In the description, I've left the tutorial for hacking fast. Here is a chart that shows the payouts of each primary target. As you can see, the best paying primary target is the Panther statue, but it becomes available only during special events decided by Rockstar. So the best non-event primary target available throughout the year is Pink Diamond. I will be making more videos like this along with tutorials, walkthroughs, and gameplays. Be sure to give a like and subscribe for not missing all upcoming contents. I am also collaborating with a friend's channel, Hellfire2512, who helped me a lot for making this channel. Please give a look and subscribe to support her for all the efforts she's making. Many of you may already know this way, but I'm showing it anyway because this is the best way for escaping from Cayo Perico. For console users, you need to close the game here. By the way, on PC, hosts will get paid so you can do it solo to gain money. But on console, hosts will not get paid but can play with other players to give money. If you play with a friend by swapping hosts, both can gain money on console. For PC users, only host needs to disconnect the internet connection when the heist pass screen comes out. For disconnecting the internet connection, you can press Alt-Enter for going to windowed mode and turn off the Wi-Fi or use the AirPlay mode. If you have a wired connection, just pull out the Ethernet cable or turn off the modem. Press Enter when this alert screen comes up. Wait till the game goes to offline story, then reconnect the internet connection and go back online. Many of you have told me that the game does not go offline. To solve it, close the game, reconnect the internet connection, and open the game again. I usually load to invite only session or crew session because the game loads faster. Once the game loads, you'll see that you got paid and the heist is still there ready for going again. Remember that if you gain more than 2 millions, you need to wait at least 30 minutes before redoing the heist or you will not get paid. Make sure that you follow the steps carefully because if you missed a step or didn't disconnect at the right time, chances are that you will not get paid or the heist might reset and you have to do all the preparations again. I'm doing this glitch since Kyle Perico heist came out and I can tell that if you don't abuse it, you'll never get banned. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If there's any questions that you guys might have dropped a comment down below and if you found it very useful, please drop a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it, and of course, if you guys want to share this video by all means it would also be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next one.